Okay, folks, World Cup cocktail time with Tim continues, and today it is Morocco. Now, I don't have a jersey, but I do have a Fez, and that's what I'm going with. Fez is a city in Morocco. Okay, now, the Atlas Lions, they've only qualified for the World Cup sporadically, really not very often, but they've had tremendous success in the African Nations Cup, having won it in 2018 and 2020, and I think there's a lot of hope that maybe they can do something in Qatar this year behind their lead uh, best player, Ziyech, who is, uh, plays for Chelsea. But they are in legitimate group of death of Group F. They got to play Belgium, they got to play Croatia, and they got to play Canada, CONCACAF winner, right? So they got their work cut out for them. We'll see how they play. Now, what will they be drinking while they're watching their team play these, uh, play these games? They, most of them, being a Muslim nation, will be drinking mint tea. But there is a long history of Jews living in Morocco for centuries, and they have been making fig brandy for most of that time. And uh, so that's what I'm, I'm going to use to um, inspire the drink that I'm about to talk to you about. It was very difficult to get. Um, I couldn't get it uh, online anywhere, but I did find an American producer in Brooklyn, and that's what I've got here. So it's Mahia, it's an eau de vie, uh, water of life, and again, it's going to inspire the cocktail that I'm going to make which um, is inspired by one of the famous movies of one of the famous cities in Morocco, Casablanca. And you may recall that Humphrey Bogart served up um, at Cafe's Rick, uh, Rick's Cafe American. He served up champagne cocktails to Victor Laszlo, the freedom fighter. They were certainly drinking all throughout that movie, but this is one of my favorite cocktails, and that's what I'm gonna do. It calls normally for um, a different type of brandy or cognac, and I'm gonna put substitute the mahia in there or split it with the cognac. So, you'll recall, how do we make a champagne cocktail? Well, first thing you want to do is you want to take a sugar cube and soak it with your Angostura bitters. Now, there's many ways to do this. Um, I find this the least messy, which is you pop one on a little napkin on top and then you just tip it into your glass. And we're going to do this twice because it's champagne and you should always drink champagne with someone you love. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, so we soak it in there. We drop it in our little champagne flutes. Now you definitely want to use flutes tall because you want to keep the gas in the liquid as opposed to a, a coupe where it's just gonna escape quicker. Also, you want to make sure that your flutes, stick them in the freezer for overnight or at least a couple hours you definitely want it cold because you hit champ warm or cold champagne in a warm glass and you're gonna get a lot of foam. So, all right, next we're gonna do, normally it's an ounce of cognac, so I'm gonna split it. I'm gonna do a half ounce of the magia in each. And then I'm gonna do another half ounce with this cognac. I'm using um, not my best cognac, but cognac, as you probably well know, is not a cheap <laughs> cheap drink anyway, a cheap spirit, but this is sort of at the lower end of things. Next, I'm going to take a decent bottle of champagne. You could use Prosecco if you want, you could use something else, but because they use French champagne in the movie, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm using this decent bottle of Nicolas uh, Fouet. Now, you want to, if I did this right, see, there we go. I want, I'm not foaming it up too much. So just tilt it a little bit, fill it to the top. We're gonna to do this twice. And again, because the bottle is quite cold and the glasses are cold, um, I'm not getting a big foamy mess. So here we have a Casablanca champagne cocktail from Morocco. Here's looking at you, kid.